Alrighty, so now we're actually driving to my buddy's ranch. He's having a little bit of a problem with the uh, pest animals there, called gophers. And the gophers are digging his pastures for the cows pretty badly. So let's see if we can help him out a little bit and maybe do some target practice on the meanwhile. So I should have all of my GoPros and stuff like that with me so we can go there and check out the uh, scenery and uh, yeah, let's head on there. Alrighty, so now we finally came to the farm for gopher hunting. We checked that everything is okay and checked the latest and greatest for the uh, whereabouts of the gophers. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go and uh, do a little bit of checking up. How they're popping up from their little holes. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can help out the farmer. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, today I'm rocking the uh, Crawford and Lipt adjustable buttstock. I have the cheek riser from Sabre Tactical. I got the arc rail from Sabre Tactical. Uh, grip from Ergo Grips, I got the Eagle Vision GoPro mount and uh, got the trigger sticks, tripod and yeah that's about it, Bushnell Max Pro Scope with on my impact, it's a pretty good setup. Okay I think I just spotted a gopher, have to go and uh, sit on those rocks and try to make the shot. It's still up there, we'll have to go. Just got the shot done. This was very wobbly to sit on top of these rocks. Kind of sucked badly, but I hope you get a at least some kind of a good video. Video. I'll have to check it, check it in a bit. But yeah, I think it was about 75 yards away. The shot. It was one mil drop and a little bit of wind. So yeah. And if you were wondering about the why do I have this kind of a plate carrier, this is actually a cooling pack. So this setup has two kind of like uh, ice packs. I think they're called ice packs. They're core solutions ice packs that I use. And uh, yeah, I froze them up. 
put them on the carrier and then when the water melts I can drink it and it keeps me nice and cool in the hot summer day. So yeah, I recommend it, check it out. I'll put a link in the description and yeah, I recommend it. Okay, now I'm on the second spot. The hay is super long here. I'll have to go and uh, walk and stalk. There was a couple of little beeps that I heard. There the fuckers are. Ooh, the day was interesting, at least so far. I have to go and uh, fuel up my water and everything, but we got two shots, like two gophers on camera. I had three in total, but after the third one, my uh, I left my, left my GoPro on and the battery doesn't last that long if you're taking 120 frames per second speed, so have to get a new memory card and put a new battery and it should be okay again. Yeah. Alrighty, so now we came to another another field to do gopher hunting. There's ample opportunities. I think it dried out a little on the other other uh, pastures so this is prime gopher hunting place so let's see what happens and what we can get nice shot yeah it's a good shot and i had the safety on it's still sitting there yeah Day of gopher hunting is over. We got a pretty productive day. Just a little bit of technical difficulties with the scope cam. I think I had like four or five shots more. And uh, the GoPro just died on me on the Eagle Vision. So I don't know what happened, but uh, I'll have to have a look at it. But luckily, I think I had the best shots of today on camera luckily so it was the two shots there on the other pasture and then I came to the higher up pasture and we got a couple of really good ones here and yeah it was a pretty productive day we helped out the farmer and uh, he seemed to be happy and he actually joined me on the top pasture shooting or top paster uh, hunting testing and yeah good day behind us and now we can just head on backwards fill our guns do a little bit of other testing and uh yeah up to the next video <laughs>